everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tamika and today I thought it was about time we sat down and had a little bit of a catch up. So as you may or may not have noticed, honestly, I'm so not offended if you didn't even notice I was gone, um, but I haven't uploaded a video in about six months, uh, which is a long time, really. Um, and I kind of just disappeared without saying much. So I thought I would just catch up with you about what's been happening and get excited for the year ahead. So grab yourself a beverage or a snack and let's just have a chat. <laughs> um, I think the last time I saw you, I had mentioned that we were going on a nice long trip and we did that and that was kind of where everything went downhill. No, the trip was amazing. We had such a fantastic time. So for anyone that doesn't know, we went up to Cape York on the, the Cape York Peninsula in June, July last year, so 2021. Um, my husband and I met up with a group of friends and did a four-week holiday, three weeks of which was north of Cairns, and yeah, we just had a fantastic time. So it was a four-wheel driving holiday, camping everywhere that we went. It was very remote um, and we saw some beautiful scenery and ate some great food and just had a wonderful time with the company that we had. So if you are in Australia and are into camping and full driving and all of that, I highly, highly, highly recommend that little trip. But when I say little, it's hundreds of kilometers and multiple days of driving. So it's definitely not for the faint of heart, um, but I would do it again in a heartbeat if I had the time. We had no reception most of the trip, which is one of the reasons why you didn't hear from me for a while. Um, I had actually pre-filmed a bunch of videos and had hoped to kind of upload them before I lost reception, but I lost it way sooner than I thought and just wasn't prepared and all of that. So I do actually have an edited video of my May makes from 2021 that has never seen the light of day um, but is probably not going to. Once we got back from our trip parts of our life I guess descended into chaos which has now thankfully been resolved um, but that was a very stressful time but amongst the chaos we got the wonderful news that we are pregnant. So with pregnancy came at least three months of not wanting to do anything. <laughs> like I was so just fatigued and I slept most of that first three months um, and I just had no desire to sew anything. I had completely lost my sojo, which hasn't happened to me in such a way since I got back into sewing like five or six years ago. Um, I literally didn't make anything between July and December. Not one thing that I can recall. So that's another reason why there haven't been any videos. I literally wasn't sewing anything so I didn't have any content for my sewing channel. So I just kind of disappeared and I think that's okay. I hope you understand and I don't intend to stay away for as long in the future but honestly we will see. We will see what life with the newborn brings and all of that. As well as that we have moved house so we've just had a lot going on the last six months. Um, so we moved from like a little two bedroom kind of city apartment into a four bedroom suburban home and this is where we are going to be for at least the next couple of years. 
it is way too big for just the two of us but we have a little one on the way and then we also still have space to be able to host our family and friends from out of town which we haven't been able to do in our little apartments and things along the way so very much looking forward to that being able to spend time with family and um, introduce them to our family so um, it's all very exciting there with moving probably the most exciting part <laughs> is my new sewing space so this house has like a big kitchen living dining entertaining sort of area and it has a second kind of rumpus room um, that was probably once a double garage that has been built in to be a room um, so I am lucky enough to be able to call that my sewing space my studio if you will I am in the middle of trying to sort that out and get that all set up um, I have already started kind of filming little bits and pieces for a video once it's all kind of together that will hopefully be up in the next few weeks um, or like a couple of months <laughs> it should be up by the end of February hopefully because I really want this space kind of sorted before bub comes um, I don't know if I've mentioned March is the due date so we've got a few months to go or just over two months and I think it's going to be both the quickest and slowest two months of my life but yeah I'd just like to get my sewing space kind of all sorted before that as well as a nursery and all of that so um, a lot to do in the next few weeks but all very exciting so I'm super excited to be able to share that space with you once it's ready um, and I'm happy with it well, not even that I don't know if I'm going to be happy with it until I've been in it and worked in it for a little while so I will show you what I get up to and then I might update it later and we'll update you with any updates <laughs> how many times can I say update my sojo came back right around the time we were moving <laughs> so of course it did um, and that meant that everything that I needed to be able to do anything with was packed in boxes so even when my sojo did come back I still couldn't actually sew um, which was a little bit disappointing but it just meant that when I did actually get the sewing machine out again it just felt amazing so end of November into December I sewed some sequin bike shorts for my dance group that I'm involved in I'll see if I can put any pictures or clips or anything it was a lot of fun and I am glad that I did it and I am so happy to have been able to sew the shorts for the costumes and yeah it was good fun as well as those shorts I also made a dress for my birthday so that one is the Halon dress by Paradise Patterns and I did the built-in bra hack um, which I will link below I have had this fabric waiting to be a Halon dress since about May <laughs> May or June um, and yeah it's been it's been there it's been in the back of my mind and when I got my sojo back that was one of the first things that I wanted to make so I knew it was going to fit my bump and all of that so that was the first thing that I made for me and me alone um, and yeah I love it I love the color I love how big and loose and floaty it is and I love that this one isn't as hot as my previous version because I have made the Helen dress before I made it out of a rayon linen something a, a, a linen look rayon and honestly it was the wrong fabric choice like I love the fabric and I love the pattern but 
it was just too heavy not in drape um in feel i really only wear it in warmer months but then the fabric itself is quite a thick fabric so i find myself like sweaty and hot and it's just unfortunate because i love the way that it looks but yeah i just don't find myself reaching for it unfortunately the new one is a bamboo linen blend from Delinum. i think they're out of stock of this particular fabric but they have some gorgeous linens that you can check out it was so nice to kind of accomplish something again um in the sewing world i did make a few adjustments i've noted them all on my instagram post i'm not going to go into too much detail here because I think this video is already going to be very long and this isn't a makes video just ended up deciding to tell you about them <laughs> so the last thing that I made in 2021 was a dress for Christmas and it's actually the one that I'm wearing currently um, this one is all self drafted pretty much uh, I have not posted about it yet but I do plan to because I have a few things to say about it. It is a seersucker fabric from Spotlight and is just a tiered mini dress um, that is nice and full and big enough to go over my bump. It is lined with a rayon twill that I had in my stash left over uh, and I ended up having to put some elastic around the top which is it's fine. It is what it is. It's fine. <laughs> like I said, I have a lot to say about it, but I'm not going to go into it too much. Um, I love it. I love the way it turned out. Could it have been done better? Of course. <laughs> I don't think I've got any pictures of it yet, so I might just kind of try and stand up and show you. Sorry for the bad footage. <laughs> Let me just... <laughs> So just some little spaghetti straps, uh, kind of straight banded top, and then two tiers. I thought this was going to be way too short, but it ended up being the exact length that I wanted it to be. So I had actually gone out and bought more fabric because I thought I was gonna need to do a third tier, um, but didn't. So now I've got about a meter of this fabric in my stash. So let me know if you have any ideas what to make with it. Um, I love the texture of the fabric. I think if I make anything again, it will have to be shirred or loose fitting. That was one of the problems here. I pressed my fabric a little bit, particularly in this top band, um, but it just keeps stretching. So that's why the elastic went in. Looking into 2022, I have definitely got my sojo back because I've made three things in three days and I have just a list a mile long already. So I am very much looking forward to all of the projects this year. Video wise, I would like to get back to one video a week, which is what I was doing for most of the first six months of the year also not going to put a whole lot of pressure on myself to do so particularly come March um, when we've got a newborn as well so I'm going to allow myself some grace there and just kind of take it as it comes and see what we can do but in the meantime hopefully a video a week and hopefully come March if it's not a video a week I don't go six months <laughs> until the next video <laughs> next week i think i will do a little bit more of an in-depth look at 2021 and what i made and my make nine and then go into my make nine plans for this year currently i haven't worked out what those are but i will have something for you next week basically this year i want to give you a lot more sewing content uh, i will keep doing my plans for the month and what I make at the end of the month um, as well as some other bits and pieces in between hopefully some sewing organization sort of stuff which 
I'm really hit and miss with, to be honest, in my own life. I'm super organized in some areas and so not in others. So maybe some organization sort of stuff, maybe some sew alongs, except they are. <sighs> sew alongs are so time consuming to film and edit and all of that. So all of those sew alongs that you're watching on YouTube that aren't mine because I don't do them. Go and give those guys some love because there is so much work that goes into those videos and yeah I haven't been able to bring myself to finish many if any. I don't know if I've ever done a sew along on my channel before. I think I've started several but it just gets so much. <laughs> if you would like to see some sew alongs let me know maybe like when i do my plans for the month videos you can comment on those and tell me if there's any that you would like to see a sew along for and i might be able to do that um otherwise i don't know i'd like to say that i will but no guarantees <laughs> i also have a lot of like home diy sort of stuff that i would like to do that isn't sewing related but might make its way onto the channel so yeah I think I'm thinking about just kind of sharing more of my crafty DIY sort of life <laughs> I've gotten really into um, kind of baking and making sweets and things recently so maybe I'll do some videos with that I don't know I don't know what I want to share this year. I don't know that I want to keep it just sewing, but just kind of, I want this to be a creative channel. Let me know if that's the sort of stuff that you'd be interested in. I can definitely keep it just sewing if that's more what you guys are going to watch. I want to make sure that I'm making content that you enjoy um, as much as I'm making content for myself and doing what I enjoy. So um, let me know if you have any ideas or things that you would like to see in the coming year um, you can always comment on any of my videos I do read them all whether or not I reply to them all is a different matter um, I do try to so I'd love to have a conversation with you in the comments make sure you like the video and subscribe if you're interested in seeing my year 2022 Thanks so much for joining me today. I wish you all the best for the year ahead. And I think my main piece of advice that I'm also trying to take myself is just to be kind to yourself. There's so much happening in the world these days and I don't think you can kind of get through it without a bit of kindness and compassion for yourself as well as others. So, yeah, all the best in your 2022, and I hope you will stick around for uh, my videos and what is yet to come. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye! Caramel mm. popcorn is great, just so you know dress sorry there's a peg on my finger i should take that off i'm a fidgeter apparently no that doesn't no let's not say that sorry that was my neighbor i don't even want to do it like that <laughs> things they are oh my god now i can't stop looking out there popcorn time what are we talking about it's hard to breathe when you're pregnant <laughs> get out of breath so easily it is a Seersucker fabric from Spotlight. I just found some more popcorn. <laughs> Has it now been like five minutes of just me eating popcorn? This isn't even a craving. I just can't help it. <laughs>